Today, I'm gonna teach you to take this and make it into this. It's only gonna take a couple of seconds and people will think you're a genius. Let's go. If you're a beginner to color grading, then you've come to the right tutorial. Personally, I don't like to spend too much time on color grading. Going by the Pareto Principle, you can get 80% of the results for 20% of the effort. So you can consider this a bit of a lazy color grading tutorial. I'm gonna show you that juicy 20% to get that nice 80% results. And this is coming from somebody who has already tried going very deep into color grading, but then I came to the conclusion that it's just not worth it. I usually end up spending so much time and effort to get an image that looks nice, when it's much easier to just film with your camera's natural color profile and then do some minor adjustments. So that's step one. Take your camera and select like a natural color profile. All right, jumping into Premiere Pro, I like to add an adjustment layer first. You could edit the video file straight, but with an adjustment layer, it's easier to like layer on top things. And if you make a change you don't like, you can just delete the layer. Drag that adjustment layer over to your clip and then start color grading in Lumetri Color. To get to Lumetri Color, you just click the color workspace up top. I start by making minor adjustments. I open the Lumetri scopes and then I open the color wheels and match tab. Here I adjust the highlights, the shadows, and the midtones until I reach a sort of nice looking Lumetri scope. In Lumetri scopes, if you go above 255, that's considered blown out. And if you go below zero, that's considered crushed. So like crushed shadows, blown out exposure. Who decides these words? It's so violent. And then for the midtones, I like to sort of make sure that the majority of the squiggly lines are somewhere in the middle. Honestly, it's not an exact science. Just look at your image as well and make sure that you're pleased with what the image looks like. Cool, you're almost there. Now just make another adjustment layer on top and then go into the creative tab. Here I like to apply a LUT and then just put that at 30% intensity. Boom. Done. How easy was that? Seriously, super easy. As for LUTs, there are a few LUTs built into uh, Premiere Pro, but you can also just find LUTs online. People tend to give them away for free. So like I said in the beginning, I shoot everything with the natural color profile on my GH5 Lumix camera, but pretty much any camera body will have a sort of standard or natural color profile. And the key to my method is that these profiles already look really good at like straight out of the camera. But what we're doing is we're just taking them a little step above and sort of making it distinct and like, cinematic. Yes, this is a lazy tutorial, but if you're a pro, what you would do instead is you would shoot in a uh, log profile, flattened color profile, and then you'd have to get from this all the way to a pleasing image. So you're, you're have, it just takes way longer to get to a nice image. And a lot of the time, what I found is that all that time and effort amount to an image that looks only slightly better than the natural profile and sometimes even it looks worse than the natural profile. So like I said, just leave it to the pros. If you're working a project that demands really nice color grading, then yeah, shoot with a log and then hire a colorist to do it for you. But for me, even when I'm doing paid gigs, the clients are super happy with the natural profile and the, the result that I deliver with this method. That's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Tap that like and subscribe button somewhere. I make a bunch of video for gear related to the Micro Four Thirds system. If that's the camera system that you're using, hey, stick around. I also co-host a filmmaking podcast called La Film Nation with Nigel and William, two professional filmmaking buddies of mine. And we also have a Facebook group where if anybody posts a video, I'll try to give feedback and criticism, you know, all that good stuff. So if you want to find the link for the Facebook group, it's somewhere in the description. Again, I'm John Bear. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.